Hey everybody, it's Tommy McKee from Sidewalls Across. Welcome back to another video. It is currently 11.45 a.m. on Wednesday, October 21st, which means that tomorrow is PLL Day. I saw a post on Instagram from Paul Rabel that the PLL was wanting people to submit artwork for PLL Day. I don't know why I always wait till the last minute to do this stuff, but as you can probably tell from the title of this video, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna be using this canvas to put together something nice for them and I'm not quite sure what it's gonna be yet, but we'll figure that out. So as I was brainstorming ideas, I actually remembered an old t-shirt design that I wanted to approach the PLL with and here's what that looks like. Bet those look like some familiar characters. Like I said before, I actually wanted to put this on a shirt, but I need to ask permission first. So this is me asking permission. PLL, let's collab on this shirt design, please. And everybody watching this, comment below if you'd buy this shirt. This forgotten design is actually a good reminder that I need to start releasing more of what I'm doing. I make so much stuff that never sees the light of day and I just need to start throwing it out there. DM me reminders to put that shit out. Just be like, hey dude, we wanna see what you're working on. And then I can start posting more of this behind the scenes and unreleased stuff. Speaking of, I actually sent a bunch of people the 3D mockups and customizer before it was fully released, just because they asked. So make sure you guys reach out. Back to the painting. Initiate painting time lapse. I like to start my paintings in Photoshop if possible because it allows me to utilize cool tools like putting grids over the artwork that then allows me to translate the design onto the canvas easier. Um, also it lets you separate the line work from the colors. That way again it's just simpler to transfer this onto the canvas first and then fill in the color as you go. So just some simple tricks that make painting a lot easier using all this modern technology we have. I like to use a mechanical pencil for my initial sketching. I think it's just because it's the tool I'm most comfortable with since I spent so much time sketching and drawing with mechanical pencils in class when I should have been paying attention to schoolwork, but hey, look at me now. So the initial sketch, rough outline, is complete, so now it's time to start painting. This yellow is not covering all the, the pencil lines as well as I wanted it to. Some paint is just like, I don't know, naturally more transparent than others. And I picked the wrong color yellow for this project, but that's okay. You can't see it too much.
everyone hates me for saying this, but I won't lie, I've probably only seen like two full episodes of The Simpsons. Sorry. My favorite TV show right now has got to be Rick and Morty. I love that show. Cue Mr. Meeseeks. Get that. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. I really enjoy painting, but I don't always share everything that I do. Like, I do this video. Even though I think it is cool to see the process. Like, I love watching art YouTube videos, but... Have you all made any lacrosse art that you haven't shared yet? Because if so, I want to see that. DM it to me. Yeah, maybe I should share more of mine. And no, using this marker is not cheating because this is actually an acrylic paint marker. So there's actually paint that's coming out of this that I'm laying on the canvas. Not like a normal marker, so not cheating. What is cheating in art anyway? That's deep. Also, while we're on the subject of art, if you haven't seen Jim Carrey's YouTube video titled, I Needed Color, highly recommend. Great video for all my artistically inclined lacrosse players out there. I'll try to remember to throw that link in the description, but I might forget. I wonder if people are going to have a hard time telling who these characters are. I hope not. I feel like it's easy, but I guess Rambo kind of looks like he could be Rambo or Mike Chan and Chuck, but he's got the apron on, so it's Chef Rambo. Everyone, everyone should know that. It's easy. That's an easy one. And then Miles Jones, he's got the signature hair. So that's not difficult. Paul Rabel's easy. Come on, you can tell that's Rabel. And then Baptiste, he's got the Uts. That's cheese, boy. That's another dead giveaway. I think we're looking pretty good. I think that's that's where I'm gonna stop. Wait. Okay, that's where I'm gonna stop. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this painting. I could have spent a lot more time on this, but just wanted to throw something together quick for PLL Day. 
Let me know what kind of lacrosse art you'd like to see in the future. I do love making this stuff. And if you liked the video, please subscribe and share the Sidewalls Lacrosse channel with all your friends. It really helps me out and I appreciate all the support I've been getting from you guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll be posting a lot more frequently soon. Later. Paul? Paul, listen. People want this shirt to happen. Come on. Let's make let's make this shirt a reality.